This video is about how to replace a septic tank with a biodegradable waste biodigester. The steps used in this process can be replicated for any traditional human waste treatment systems, including culverts and manholes. Let's go into the video now. So this is what we are coming to try to connect the bio digester to. These are the pipes that are coming from inside the house and then they are going all the way to the septic tank which is in front of the house and this is the current state of what is there. For obvious reason the ground does not soak and it's very difficult for water to seep even into the soak away that has been created for this particular digester. And then for the fact that this is a big challenge to most homeowners who have already constructed a septic tank in their house and then the understanding that they are in a desperate situation and then it's not going to work. That's why we also decided that this is a, a challenge we want to take on and to prove that probably there's a better option despite the fact that your ground is not soaking water, biodigesters can work well and that's exactly what this video is about. So here are the materials that we are going to use. Our precast slabs are there. I mean, this is the standard size precast slabs. The top cover with a clean out on it that will allow inspection to be done whenever it's necessary. The porous or pervious concrete, which is for the filtration process, is also key in this particular situation. And of course, there are the side slabs and the top slabs and then the concrete, the slabs that go in, that helps with the elevation and then the base in terms of the screening that must be done so that the wastewater will have a way to pass is also part of this particular inside work that we are going to do. There are going to be other materials that you will need on top of them and the obvious ones are the fiber nets, that's for the inside, black recycle, rubber, the polythene one, that's for the soak away, the top cover of the soak away that you are going to do because then obviously you want to cover it nicely and then you want to put the top soil back on it so that it does not affect the soak up it in terms of the stones and everything that you are going to put inside them and then it makes the work very very complete. The ultimate is the fiber, the coconut husk, coconut fiber, that's for the treatment of the human waste itself is key for you when you want to replace a septic tank with a biodigester. So in this particular video, we are also going to replace the pipes that are leading to the septic tank with a bend, four inch bend and tees to try and to replace them and then have them drop in the biodigester. Now let's go straight into the video and then see how to replace a septic tank with a biodigester. When it comes to the groundworks, you are going to have to get your markings done and then the digging of the ground must also be done. Depending on the type of biodigester you are going to construct, you might need a specific size. Each depends on the house. In this house, it's a four-bedroom house and five toilets. So we are going to do the rectangular 6 by 3 biodigester and the so-called pit 3 diameter. The depth is going to be 4 feet below the biodigester level when it comes to the leche pipe that will be laid so you dig the ground and then you have all the necessary things that you must do when you are digging have the top soil removed the key part is also to know the type of soil that you are going to meet when you show up for such a project is the ground good is it going to be able to soak water are there any other options in terms of the human waste where you are going to send them to do you have all those ones? Then it's key for you. But in this particular case, we are doing the so pit construction. And then we are going to drop the stones in it. And then have it to a level whereby the wastewater will be channeled back from the biodigester when it's flushed into the so pit. The human waste will obviously stay in the digester. And then the biodegradation process is going to take place. We are filling the, the so pit to the desired level big stones blocks also work well and then small stones anything that will help with the filtration and the easy penetration of the wastewater into the topsoil so that there will not be any water 
in the bio digester itself that's very key when it comes to such a project that you are doing the leche pipe must also be connected from the bio digester into the so-called pit and then you are going to cover it with the polythene bag the black polythene rubber and then the top soil are going to be put on it up to a desired level and then the ground soil can be put on it when you do it like this it means that you can also go ahead and do pavement or do tiling or whatever must be done on the ground just to have it nicely laid out for yourself when it comes to fixing of the biodigester in this case we are using precast slabs prefabricated ones that we are using for this particular work you have to hold them firmly tight and then get a level in which the slope and the gradient will be key for you when it comes to laying the digester bed after they have been fixed nicely together the next thing that you do is to make sure they are all meeting up at the right corner in terms of the fastening of them if it's a block work then obviously they must be laid according to all that you have laid out for yourself and then you do the connection for the leche pipe that's that's the pipe that will go into the soak hole pit and the black water is what will come through this particular pipe it has to be done in such a way that there should be a slope in it there's supposed to be a gradient in it and then any water that's retained in the digester because you are going to do the screening with the sloping will come out and then it will go into the soak hole pit or wherever you decide to send it in, in this case we are doing a soak hole pit for it and we are going to drop it in it by itself so if we are using a four inch pipe to connect the digester to the soak hole pit so when you have neatly fastened and tightened your slabs in place the prefabricated slabs in place then in this particular case we are looking at the connection which is a chamber the traditional old chamber that was done connecting the other toilets all the way into the septic tank so this is where we are coming to terminate it and we have to break them down this is where the four inch bend and the t's that we bought that i showed you earlier on is very key when it comes to the connection this is where the replacement happens and we will have to break the chamber and then try and meet the pipes there and then have them connected the whole idea is that you are taking away the pipes that are going into the septic tank and putting them in the biodigester that you are constructing just by the side of the building terminating those pipes and then having them drop directly into the biodigester we we'll get the slope and get the gradient right and then we will drop it into the bio digester the key here is whenever you show up on site you should know where the pipes are all meeting and where to terminate them if you do have a fair idea of where to terminate them and then you know that if you do the bio digester here it's going to be okay also considering the type of soil that you are going to the type of location that you are choosing for the bio digester construction as well which I have a video, the link will be up in the cards there that gives you the step-by-step -step guide you need to know if you are going to construct a bio digester. The next thing we are going to do is to do the inlet. The inlet is what the pipes that are coming from the house will go straight into the digester. It must be at a level so that there's enough room in the bio digester for the digester bed preparation to take place so that when the human waste comes into the digester bed then the filtration will happen and then the wastewater will go down into the screening that you are going to do later and then the wastewater will be carried or the black water will be carried all the way through the leche pipe into the so-called pit or into a wastewater or a drainage system that you have depending on the situation in which you find yourself when you showed up on site. So we are patching the prefab slabs to hold them in firmly in place. And then at the same time, we'll have to do the screening as well. That will be where the biodigester bed is going to be laid. So the leche pipe connection is very key when it comes to the biodigester 
construction. The shear pipe is what will carry the black water into the so-called pit, into the drainage system or into any wastewater management system that you have provided or you are going to provide for a biodegradable waste biodigester that you are doing for a particular property. So in this case, we've measured it about four feet away from the so-called pit into the digester and then we are getting the pipe cut to meet that measurement and then having it connected to it on top of the screening so that it shows up at the mouth nicely and then the slope is what will carry the wastewater from the inlet all the way into the outlet which is the shape pipe that will take it all the way into the soak hole pit or the soak away that you have for the wastewater the next thing is to lay the biodigester bed prepare it nicely with the porous or the pervious concrete and have it laid on it and then make sure that they go to both sides of the slabs and they fill it and there are no holes left for any wastewater or human waste that might seep through that side then your ultimate thing next is to make sure you cover it with your fiber net i have a video that explains the step-by-step -step guide in terms of how to construct a biofuel and a biodegradable waste biodigester not the biogas this is the one that biodegrades and the human waste biodegrades and then the waste is what is left and goes into the soak hole pit and then we next thing is after the fiber net we have to cover it or put the coconut treated coconut fiber on top of it this is what treats the human waste this is what biodegrade the feces because it generates microorganisms that are going to feed on it and it makes sure that nothing in terms of the scent in terms of smell that comes with human waste all those things are taken out because then the wastewater is what is taken out and the feces is what is left and the digester will then do its work as it's supposed to make sure the coconut husk is evenly spread on all the corners of the biodigester bed so that any human waste that come it can take care of it nicely and in this case that's exactly what we have done and then the biodigester is ready to receive the human waste as and when it's being used the next thing is to put a top cover on it and cover the biodigester nicely and then seal it airtight it's important to have it sealed airtight if there's any work in terms of putting a vent pipe it must go on the building and then you can take away any scent or smell that comes from the pipe or the drainage system and then you cover the biodigester nicely and then you are done with it so basically this is how to replace a septic tank with a biodegradable waste biodigester it can be a covered system it can be a manhole it can be any form of human waste treatment option and then if you are going to replace it with a biodigester this is the steps that we have chosen and this is exactly how we went about doing it for this particular house the video showing up next will explain to you how biodigesters work and how they are giving homeowners that needed peace of mind when it comes to their human waste management and treatment issues.